Marhaba friends, Wine 7.0 on Ubuntu. In preparation of that, please update your system by issuing this command sudo apt update dash y and sudo apt upgrade dash y. And enter your password and wait for your system to update. If, it's, if it has not updated for a long time, you will have some updates. Next up, check that same command and ideally you should be in this state where you have no more updates to install. All right, next up, Check the version of Wine that you're running. I'm checking for my system and you can see I have Wine 6.12 staging. Okay, so we are going to update it to Wine 7.0 and this guide will work for people who have up not installed or they want to update. All right, so you want to install or update, it's gonna work. Now, if you check on the page here, which says Wine announcement, it has a Wine stable version has been released 7.0. Now there are very good improvements, especially the WoW 64-bit architecture, which will open up some interesting formats, I mean, interesting avenues. All right, so if you want to read the source, you can go there, but right now we are interested in installing, so we'll come down here, and it says the binary package is available, and it, these packages are built and supported by Wine HQ, the official version, so we need not fear anything. We have the packages for Android, Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, macOS, SUSE, Slackware, FreeBSD, free but right now we are on Ubuntu, so I'm going to go on Ubuntu. Okay, now it says installing Wine HQ packages. So the first thing we need to do, if your 64 system is 64-bit, please enable the 32-bit architecture if you haven't already. So we got to copy that command, and I'm going to bring up my console, and just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to keep above others. So. Let's paste it, Control shift v and I have added the architecture. Now down, it says download and, the, and add the repository key. So copy this command again and paste it here, Control shift v I'm running, uh, so it says I already have downloaded the key. If not, then the key would have been downloaded for your system. Okay, so again, copy this command. So we have to add the key to our system. Since I have already downloaded and added the key, it did not do already download it for me. If you have not, then yes, you will have to. Now you have to check the version of Ubuntu that you are running. I am on PopOS. So the command is same. It says lsb underscore release dash a. And you can see I'm running PopOS 21.10 where the code name is impish. And for it says for this version Ubuntu 21.10, you have to use this command. Depending upon the version that you have, please select the appropriate command the appropriate, the, the version of Ubuntu we have. So copy paste it and hit enter and it's hit enter again. And what it will do is it will add the repository to the repo the repositories that Ubuntu has. So, and go down and next we, we need to update our system using so saying sudo apt update. And you can see there already our system has detected that there are some updates for our system. Pop OS has detected. So let it update and it says see app list upgradable to see them. Okay, so coming down, we see we have three packages, the stable branch, the development branch and the staging branch. I would recommend go with the stable branch since I like to live life on the edge a little bit. So I'm gonna pick the staging branch, but just for the sake of it, let's list app list upgradable to see what it has picked up and to see if the system and we are on the same page. Yes, it's see, we see Impish 7.0 Wine staging MD64, upgradable from 6.12 Groovy. All right, so we'll paste the command and we'll install the staging version. If I would recommend for most of you install the, st uh, the, the stable version, I am installing the, the uh, staging version. All right, so give it some time and the install with complete hopefully without any errors and yes i think we are almost there and we are done yes pretty cool now there's just one thing that we need we need to install more so i'm going to say sudo apt install and i'm going to paste this thing why am i pasting this because if we go up you'd say it says it was a recommended package so i'm just going to install this and let's see hit again yes or enter and it will install the recommended package it says Following packages will be removed. The VKD3 compiler and the 386 architecture will be installed. Now, if we check the version of Wine that we are running, we will see, yes, we have Wine 6.0, RC6. Pretty good, staging. Thank 
that's it guys thank you so much for your time take care catch you in the next video bye bye